sup people friends fellow internet people friends today i am making an ashtray for my bestie or not my bestie like i mean he's definitely like number like 11 on the friendship list but anyway it was his birthday last month and he really likes this video game that i think is pronounced sifu and i've never played it before but he was really passionate about it and I want to do something nice for him because at work, homie really has my back. He he just he lifts a lot of plates, and um, I work at a restaurant, and he just he really washes those dishes, you know. And if I had to wash that many dishes, I would probably start talking to myself and hallucinate more than I already do. Anyway, this vlog was supposed to be out last Tuesday, but. Your girl enrolled in eight classes because my counselor told me to because I'm trying to graduate in two semesters. And so I had to pull an all-nighter in my second week, my second week of school. And I know that you guys were like, Pre, we're here for an ashtray lesson. But I got to throw some rambling in there too, you know. This one, this was real smooth because I forgot to rinse the water and the paintbrush. And so instead of like wiping everything off, I just played along with it and pretended that the weird gray water was part of the video. <laughs> Going on to another random tangent, one of my biggest fears in the whole entire world is people being uncomfortable with stuff that I'm doing when I'm just being myself. The reason I'm telling y'all this is because this part of the video felt really weird and intimate and it was an example of me being myself and then me being worried that y'all would think it was freaky because it is a little freaky. But here I am conquering my fear. It's kind of like I was worried it would give you guys the sensation that people feel when you say the word moist. Although I will be honest, I think if you're uncomfortable with the word moist, you're the real freak here. Because I think of delicious chocolate cake when someone tells me that word. Anyway, going back onto topic, I took a construction class this summer for my engineering curriculum. And I learned that rebars, when put into concrete, prevent it from cracking when the concrete is drying and expanding and it lets it dry really evenly and nice and ever since i learned that concept i have a put wire in all of my clay projects and let me tell y'all you need to run to the store and get some wire if you're someone who does clay stuff on the regular because look at how straight and crack free this ashtray is after it fully dried my only complaint is i'd miscalculated the length of the wires and so now they're sticking out but that's why we have these handy dandy scissors which did not work and completely didn't do anything but then i realized i should just take the wires out i started to panic because i was pretty sure that the ashtray was going to crumble but also this was so satisfying that i was like you know what so what if it crumbles i'll just pull a new YouTube vlog out of my pockets of tricks like, you know, Mary Poppins purse and stuff. But um, luckily it didn't crack and that's why we're still here watching this go down. Also, I would not recommend doing this because I almost hit myself in the face with the pliers trying to get this wire out. So yeah, don't do that. Just make sure your wire length is correct, you know. Anyway, after I did all that, I wanted to show you guys the holes that it left and that I really didn't know what I was gonna do, so I decided to just start sanding everything before I worried about all of that. And um, I really wanted to put 10 minutes of just me sanding things in here to torture you guys, because when I was editing, I felt like I was caught in this like hypnosis where I was just so mesmerized by the sanding. And then I just deleted all of it for y'all to protect you guys from the hypnosis. I really like drawing things in white powder. Here she is completely sanded, and as you can see, there are still some little uneven parts. And so what I do with those is I use my industrial strength glue, and I just pretty much put it on whatever uneven parts I see, and then I rub it in because that's what I do. And I would not recommend doing it, but like here, you gotta do it super fast, guys. So like here I am putting it on and everything, also, the glue comes off of your fingers once it dries and you like rub your fingers together and you get all those little peelies. So good. 10 out of 10. I tried covering up the holes with the glue, but it didn't work. And I think it was because of the air trapped inside of the ashtray. But I mean, he's like my 11th best friend. So 
I wasn't sweating it. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Or am I? Anyway, the logo that I tried to freehand came out really uneven, and I got really annoyed really fast. And so I went on my handy-dandy iPad and tried to cook up something original but also really connected with the theme of the game. I couldn't think of anything original except for like coloring his face. Yes, I really wanted you guys to see my keyboard before I showed you the main part, which is I'm printing these out and I'm gonna stick them on the ashtray for part two.